You know, one of the hottest issues these days, at least as far as the media is concerned, is plastics. They said that it's um, dangerous to use plastic in microwaves. I've even bought glass dishes for the kids to take uh, stuff to school to reheat their food in. I don't know. I'm just, I'm kind of torn on it. But definitely I don't heat my food in plastic anymore. I, I don't think it's a big deal. I mean, eat your veggies. That's probably going to avoid cancer more than anything else. I've tried to stop using water bottles as much. We try to keep to uh, glass bottles. I drink water out of tap, so... You don't know what is safe or what is not safe anymore. We live in a plastic world. We eat from plastic, we drink from plastic. And some alarmists uh, suggest that some of the chemicals that are used in plastic manufacture are potentially harmful. Whereas the industry says, gee, if we produce it and if it is designed for food contact, it's perfectly safe. Well, I get concerned when I hear that there's stuff that isn't food showing up in my food. Our food is full of foreign particles, ranging from uh, bits of rodent hair to insect poop. But just because they are present doesn't mean that they are dangerous. The only way we know if a foreign substance is dangerous is by testing it. One of the big concerns people have is about using plastics in the microwave oven. And I'm sure you've heard about that. People talk about dioxins, which indeed are toxic materials and can be produced when a plastic called polyvinyl chloride is heated to a very high temperature, 1700 degrees incineration temperatures. Well, your microwave oven is not an incinerator and the dishes that are used in microwave cooking are not made of polyvinyl chloride. The plastic that is used to make microwave safe dishes is mostly polyethylene or polypropylene and therefore the production of these dioxins is just a total myth. It doesn't happen. There's no bisphenol A involved, there are no phthalates that are involved, it is pure polyethylene and nothing leaches out of it. So there's no issue using plastic dishes that are marked microwave safe? Today there's a bit of a concern over a plastic called polycarbonate the number seven in the recycling logo, and that's being phased out for microwave cooking. But all of the others that are marked as microwave safe have been properly tested and there's no issue. But you would not use an old margarine container or an old yogurt container to heat up your spaghetti sauce because they're not designed for that purpose. So what is this number seven logo that I keep hearing about? Should I be concerned? Oh yeah, notorious number seven. It has nothing at all to do with safety or danger. The number just describes the kind of plastic for recycling purposes. Now the number seven is what we call the other category, anything that does not fit into one to six, which are specific kinds of plastics. And one of the plastics in the number seven category is polycarbonate. Polycarbonate is made from a substance called bisphenol A, or BPA, and some of that is always left over in the plastic and can leach out into food. And the reason for concern here is that in animal experiments, it has been linked with hormonal problems. We call it an endocrine disruptor. And of course, any time that that comes up, we worry, especially with babies. And this is the reason why the Canadian government has said, let's not use that plastic for baby bottles because we have all kinds of alternatives. Uh, there is some controversy in the medical community about just how much BPA is dangerous, but for children, let's play it safe and let's eliminate it. For adults, we have no reason to believe that there's risk here. So once again, it is the context that is important. But what about uh, bottles of water? The bisphenol A issue doesn't come up at all when you're talking about the kind of uh, water that you buy already in a bottle in, in a store. Uh, these are made of polyester. No bisphenol A involved, so there's nothing to leach out. It's a non-issue. Even if it sits in the sun in my car and it warms up or I put Even it in the freezer? Even if it sits in the sun or you put it in the freezer, there's no bisphenol A that can leach out of there because there isn't any in there. Uh, that whole bisphenol A question arises only when you're talking about the hard plastic water bottles that you fill yourself. But even in that case now, there are alternatives. Uh, these actually are made of another type of polyester, quite similar to that, but much harder, and they don't have any BPA. So chemistry has a solution here as well. The problem was recognized and now there is a solution. That's great.